Hi guys, well, let's have a look at creating a fantastically easy diet planner with Affinity Publisher 2, and that's on the iPad I might add, all new toys. We'll do this in simple steps using Affinity Publisher on the iPad, and this particular document is ideal for low content book publishing, and it's something that anyone can follow. That's right, Affinity Publisher on the iPad is finally out. So, let's do this in less than a day. To publish your first easy diet planner, let's get right to it. The document setup, that's new document. Document units is in millimetres. The DPI I've set to 400, but you can leave that at 300 if you like. It kind of doesn't matter for this book. Facing pages layout and the alignment or arrangement is horizontal and you start on the right. The colour is CMYK slash 8 and the bleed is 10 millimetres all around. The spread setup is 210 by 297 millimetres. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's in portrait mode. You might remember that that is A4. Now let's have a closer look at this. Let's look at the setup in more detail. Now, because it's on an iPad, I've done this vertically, so you can see the entire studio panel on the right. So you get your idea to sales in just a few days because they're quick to produce. You don't need a website nor email lists for low content books and very little or no upfront costs. No marketing and no inventory. You just put them on KDP and away they go. Very easy. So, this is what your document will look like as you're ready to start entering detail. We have a master A page and 20 individual pages. Now, let's start with the cover, or page one in this case. There's nothing on the master page, so we can ignore that. You don't even need to think about the master page. Just set up 20 pages and we'll start with page one. First, drag out a frame text box over the whole page, then convert it to a curve, then fill it with blue. Now we need to put our decoration into the page, and you can find this decoration used in the download archive I created for this project. The address is in the description below on my website. But I'd recommend using a different graphic because, hey, obviously, this one's been done and you want it to look like something you've put together. This is a honeycomb background. So here we have a honeycomb background, but of course you can and should, as I mentioned, use your own design. Make it unique after all. The single honeycomb shape is also included on the download site shown in the description. Now let's add our text. Make sure you have the front page, page one selected. Create a simple text box for each of the title, my diet or my meal, and the your name line, which is what you put there. Your name, well, whatever your name is. And open sans regular 18 point for the your name line, and it's as easy as ABC. The font for the title is Poirot 1, regular 90 point. And of course, as I say, you can freely adjust that as you, as you wish. Now, set up the pages, pages 2 to 20. We're going to step through this and not show you how to set each page line by line. Because really, they are quite easy. Starting with page 2 now, we can begin to add detail. The number 7 is an easy to draw vector image. What well, could be straighter than that? Straight lines. Seven days to the week, it's a seven days planner. So that's kind of a stylized number seven. The border detail is also in the download. You can see those little blue lines around the edges. You can do those individually or copy them or do one and then multiple copy them. Really easy to do. Or in fact, you can do something else. Now, to add the ruled lines, surrounding each page. As these appear on every page except the front and back, you could put them on a master page of their own. In this case, however, 
I'll just put them on each page individually. So go right ahead and do that now. That will take you a little bit of time to put those dotted lines around it. Each page is the same. The lines are in fact curves created and replicated in each group. You can see I've put them all in groups there so they're easy to locate and also easy to copy if you want to put more pages in there. Now let's add some detail to page two. A nice quote to give some encouragement. One must eat to live, not live to eat. Very famous words. Frame text fields and a curve in the form of a stylized number seven, representing seven days of the week. Now let's add some detail to page three. A profile page where details about yourself can be added. Again, they're simple frame text fields and curves. Easy. Now, with your fonts there, when you type a word on that page, when you're finished the page, select each word or group of words and convert them to curves. That's why when you're distributing your document or sending it to KDP for print, you don't worry, you don't have to worry whether they've got the text or not because it's no longer a font. It's a curve and it will fit any machine. Let's add some details to page four, diet planner and diet concerns. Frame text fields and curves again, easy. The same with page five, the plan outline. Frame text fields and curves again, lots of dotted lines for writing guides. So it's really easy to make dotted lines. Once you've done one, you can just copy and paste. Now, page six, the goals planner outline. Again, frame text fields and curves, too easy. You can see you've got frame text fields there and they're just filled with color. What we're mostly looking at here is the outline of this document. The Goals Planner Outline, page 7, frame text fields and curves. The water bottle images are in the online archive, that download file I've mentioned a couple of times. But of course, you could put anything you like there. And I would encourage you to do so. Experiment. Feel free. The 30-day challenge on page 8 gives you a breakdown of rest periods and diet periods so that you're not actually dieting every single day. Some days are a rest day. Page nine, the shopping list and meal preparation plans. Page 10, the meal planner guides. And you can see what you've got in there. You can change that to suit yourself, but this is the outline. This is like, hmm, a master document if you like. And part two of the meal planner guides is on page 11. Page 12, the 30 day exercise challenge. Oh, for me, quite a challenge. I'm not the biggest exerciser going, but there you go. We're not talking about me, we're talking about a publishable document or perhaps yourself. Now there's the extension or the next page, if you like, where you've got more room to work out your exercises and plan them out. Page 14, monthly goals. Now, monthly goals aren't daily goals, so we need to hmm, determine what we're doing month by month. Page 15, your workout tracker. Now, you can see you've got lists there. Again, frame text fields, lines, boxes. That's all it is. Couldn't be simpler. There's no shading. There's no fancy colours. There's no fancy graphics. You don't want to get bound up in that stuff. What you want is low content. Now, something like this is really useful. Your goals planner. Again, frame text boxes, lines, curves, too simple. Page 17, habit builders. So in there you put your habits. Today's list, tomorrow's list, things you do every day so that they become a habit and it makes sure... Um, diet planning, much easier. Morning routine, page 
page 18. Page 19, evening routine. Like global things that you would do in an evening. Not in not itemised little things, but your evening routine. And your back cover is actually probably just a mirror image of the front cover. Now that's the finish of the low content book, the Your Diet Planner. Now that we've looked through the entire book, you can redesign it to suit yourself or you can download my version and simply edit that. It's on the download file. If you decide to turn this into a KDP low content book and not just use it yourself, make sure you change the graphics and generally modify the layout to make it your own. If you don't, KDP will surely reject it for breach of copyright because there will be others just like this already on KDP. So best of luck, take your time and remember this is all done on Affinity Publisher on the iPad. Now how new is that? Okay, it's very small but you can pinch and expand, you can find your way around the document, some things are easy to find, no, some things are not. But that's life, isn't it? Now there's the exported PDF. This is the front page of the exported PDF. So thanks for watching and hopefully you'll end up with a really nice diet planner. Don't forget you can find the related files to this exercise on my website in the download folder, clearly marked in the, uh, in the menu tabs on the front page. And thank you for watching. Don't forget, please share the video with your friends. If you'd care to subscribe, well, that'd be appreciated too. But really, share the document with your friends. I'm sure they will like having a go at making their own diet planner as well.